Of course, Olney. Yeah, we're really excited to have the N610i at Label Expo. Um, it's the first, you know, first showing of this machine. Um, the key feature that is uh, new at this machine is the white. We have what we call a double hit, so we have two print heads that are printing the white image. It gives us a really, really opaque um, result, uh, we, which we think is very much market-leading white printing. But in addition on the machine, we obviously have the, what we've become known for is this really high productivity. So we have what we feel is the highest productivity digital machine. Um, we also think we're getting the best print quality of any inkjet press. And then we have this really highly consistent print results as a consequence of some of the iTech features or the intelligent technology features uh, that we've developed as you know, unique capability within the machine. Can you tell me more about the iTech features? Yeah well, yeah, well, within this machine, we have three iTech features. They're called uh, Stitch Link, Active Flow, and Clean Cap. Um, if I start with Active Flow, what Active Flow is, is it's basically a unique system of uh, recirculating the ink within the print head. Uh, within inkjet printers, one of the issues that you have to manage is air bubbles that get within the print head, and if they get to the nozzle area, then you end up with issues like diverted jets, which means you don't get consistent print quality. With Active Flow, through recirculating the ink within the print head, we're removing those air bubbles, they get dissolved within the ink, so that we keep the print very consistent. So that's Active Flow. Um, the second one we have is called Stitch Link. Stitch Link is, a, is required because within a 333 mil wide web that we have on this particular press, um, you need to use three print heads uh, for each color. And that means mechanically stitching the print heads together in order to create a seamless image so you've got no white lines. Um, in certain older technology uh, product offerings, what you'll find is that this sort of adjustment is actually done manually, can be actually done with a screwdriver. What we do in the case of the N610i, in fact all our products, our latest release products, is we have micromotor controllers. So we completely automate that process that makes it very easy and quick to set up, but also very, very precise. You know, so you get that very accurate print quality. And finally, but by no means least, uh, we have uh, our clean cap system. And what clean cap is that with inkjet printers, you have to maintain your nozzle reliability. So we have to be keep printing those nozzles all the time. And um, again, one method of doing that is somebody will come and manually clean those print heads. Uh, what we've done is we've automated that process. Um, we're not obviously against the operators, but you know anything that involves an operator is, is not a controlled process. And uh, the heads are, you know, uh, are very highly precise in the way they function. So we've spent um, a number of years developing and, and uh, perfecting a system where we can basically wipe the print head and then cap it when it's not in use. So there's no operator involvement, uh, which means you've got more uptime because it's a quicker process. And again, the print results are much more consistent. Speaking of uptime, you've just mentioned productivity earlier. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit more how you would position the press against its competitors? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, one of our key claims at this show is we have the highest productivity um, inkjet press. Um, in fact, we have the highest productivity digital press. Uh, and the reasons for that is that we will run between 50 and 75 meters a minute, uh, which we believe is the, the fastest on the marketplace. Um, and hence why we make the claim that we have the flexibility of digital and the productivity that you would normally associate with flexo production. And this, is, and this by the way, is also highlighted by some of our customers. Um, I'm sure you'll have seen the Rangers video, and you'll see the comments. Well, Rangers are running um, traditionally digital production of less than a thousand meter run lengths. Uh, since they've had our machine, they've continued running those thousand meters um, on their other digital, they have a number of other digital technologies, and our machine is running now jobs well over 3,000 meters in run length. So um, I think that you know, their claim is readily justified. So Philip, what would you say is your target market? I'll be honest, our main focus of the target market is self adhesive labels. Um, and we're very much focused on customers that are looking to run, you know, quite larger, larger volumes, you know, of self adhesive labels. And we will, you know, we will work on the whole range of substrates in that area so we can run on uh, standard uh, substrates that are used in the Flexo, um, for Flexo or operation. Philip, can you tell me about the machine and what other options are available? Okay, well the machine is designed to be the four colour, five colour with our opaque white that we're showing at the show, 
and in January, April, in January, February time, we expect to release two other inks, which will be a violet and an orange, and that will give us increased colour gamut. So at that point, so in effect, we can go from four up to seven colours. And obviously all of those colours we can print at up to 75 metres a minute or 264 feet a minute. Um, the other options we have is at the show we obviously already have an AB Graphics Omega finishing line, including a turret rewinder. Uh, this is at the moment running in near line mode, but we have already integrated a number of our digital presses with finishing lines so we can run in line or offline on finishing. The other standard option we have is obviously variable data printing, which is, needless to say, what Domino's been doing for the last 30 years is uh, variable data printing. So we have that is either black or full color variable data printing. Um, and they're probably the key. And then also we have an inspection system, actually, which uh, we're working at the moment, in particular with AVT, which is providing a quality control system. One of the things we found is that visual inspection that an operator might do um, is generally fine on a um, on a traditional digital line that's going to be running 24, 30 metres a minute. But obviously when you're running up to 75 metres a minute, it's a very difficult thing to do. So some of our customers have gone for the AVT system that basically means they've automated that quality inspection. So Philip, if anybody at Label Expo wants to buy your press, why should they be buying the N610i? I think there's obviously many reasons. But the, the key reasons I think we, we're claiming at this show, which we're very happy to justify to a customer, is that we have the highest digital productivity, you know, running up to 75 meters a minute. This means that we're not a traditional digital press. This is a machine that is by all means doing your short run digital work, but it's doing medium and longer run work. So productivity is, is a big one. I'd say the second uh, key reason would be we have the highest inkjet print quality. We're printing 600 by 600 DPI with native resolution, which is giving much finer detail on text and um, finer detail in the general image area. So I think highest print quality of any uh, other inkjet technology. Third thing would be um, the most consistent print results. And that's really where we focused a lot of our development on. So in that respect, we have these intelligent technology features uh, active flow stitch length and clean cap that mean we believe that day in day out will produce exactly the same print quality.